Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And with iPadOS 15, you can finally put widgets onto your home screen, just like the iPhone. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the perfect setup right now. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have these different pages, home, chill, design, and school. And the reason I chose this layout is because it looks good in both horizontal and portrait mode. You can see that the layout is pretty much the same. Uh, you still get the label in the same position each time, and then when you flip it over, it looks good no matter what. So I'm going to show you how to create this layout. Um, I'm just going to create a new page just by swiping over after holding onto the home screen, and then I'm going to be adding some widgets. I recommend starting with the calendar widget, um, but depending on which trying to, what page and theme you're trying to create, it'll be different, obviously. Uh, I'm just going to add the big widget. This is a new one for the iPad. It's extra wide. Um, and then usually I want to start with another um, big, large size widget. Let's do weather, for example, because weather has a decent looking uh, big page. And then I'm going to add um, a medium page, a medium size one right there. And then now I'm trying to add this label. So as you can see, each of them has a different label, but it doesn't come with Apple's um, widget system. So you want to download this app called Widget Smith. It's on the app store for free and you can just create custom widgets however you like for example you can see i have the custom widgets here i'm just going to create a new medium sized widget uh, scroll down until you find custom text and then you can actually just play around with the theme you want but i just chose black because it's simple <clears throat> go to custom text here i'm going to just do sample like that and you can see it gives me a sample text. Just press save and you're pretty much done. So go to your home screen, hold again, and then top left corner, you'll see a plus button and then scroll all the way down until you see widget Smith. Since we just created a medium sized widget, go to medium, add widget. And then if you tap on it, you can actually select which one you want to choose. I'm going to choose medium number six because that was my sample page. And then you can see that it popped up here. Now the next step to do is add eight app icons. Um, you can either do a mixture of folders and icons, but uh, usually I, I do a mixture like this. So I'm just going to create, I'm just going to drag some random apps in here, just for example. And one more. <clears throat> okay, so now that's like that, I'm going to drag the sample all the way to the bottom left corner, because as you can see, that's what I did for everything else. And that's when you turn it to a portrait mode, it'll give you a nice layout. Press done and you're pretty much done with your home screen setup. And the reason why I separated different um, categories into different pages is because of focus modes. So what focus modes allows you to do is if you go down to the control center, tap focus, and I'm gonna go into my school mode, you can kind of see that I have my home screen, I have my design and school, but nothing else. Everything else is hidden, and the way to do that is by going into settings, going into focus, you can actually create new focus modes uh, with different little categories. I'm just going to be working with my school setup. You can see under options, there's a home screen, uh, and then you can create custom pages. This one I can enable or disable custom pages. For example, if I want to see sample during my school focus mode, I can just enable it there and then it'll show up at the end. So that's pretty much it for iPadOS 15 and home screen customization. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.